Hello there. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone. I hope all of you are in good condition. In this video, I hope you are going to watch something very useful and also interesting. Mr. Fauzan is here. In this video, we are going to learn specifically about finding the perimeter of square and rectangle. As you know, this video is provided for primary 4. Well, specifically in this video, you are going to learn how to find perimeter of a rectangle when the length and breadth are already given. And the next thing is how to find perimeter of a square when the side is also already given. Then the third one you need to know is how to find the unknown length or breadth or side if the perimeter is already given. Okay, let's start with Bismillah and don't forget to smile. The first one is we are going to find perimeter of square and a rectangle. First thing first, let's consider this rectangle. As you know, rectangle consists of length and breadth or width, you may also say that. As we know, perimeter is the distance covering the figure. In other words, perimeter is the total sum of all sides. Let's take a look. This length up here is 6 units. On the right, we have the breadth is equals to 4 units. The length at the bottom, don't forget it. It is equal to 6 units. And last but not least, don't forget this breadth here. It is equals to 4 units. So the perimeter is 6 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4. That is equals to 20 units. Hmm, easy, right? Alhamdulillah. Now let's move on to find the perimeter of a square. Consider this square. As for square, it has four equal sides. So to find the perimeter of a square, we just need to multiply sides with four. Now let's consider this. This is five units. 